do the Chicago Bulls have one of the better young cores in the entire NBA? What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report. My name is Patrick Seatman, and coming up on today's show, I wanted to do a deep dive on a bunch of the young talent on this roster as the youth movement has sort of came here in Chicago. So I'll be going over a couple players and my expectations for them this upcoming season. But before we dive into that, we're actually in a subscriber battle with our Heat Report channel here at Chat Sports. And right now, we have 9,333 subs, so shout out to all of you guys who have subscribed so far. But I want to beat the Heat Report before the start of the regular season, and we got a ways to go. So if you guys haven't already, lock us in, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you posted with everything you need to know around your Chicago Bulls. But let's take a bird's eye view here real quick on all the young players on this Bulls roster. As You know, you got 10 players who I'm a big fan of, all under the age of 26 years old, and why I believe that... You know, this Bulls young core could shock the NBA is because I feel like a lot of people don't give this, you know, young group enough credit. Now, you still got Lonzo, age 26, Bittum at 25, Jalen Smith, Io, Kobe, all 24 years old. But specific on the right side, you got five guys all under the age of 22 who have all types of potential. Patrick Williams, Dalen Terry, Josh Giddy, Julian Phillips, Modest Buzelis. Have we already uh, done a video um, explaining to you guys why I believe Josh Giddy? is going to have a fantastic season with the Bulls. If you guys want to check that out, I highly encourage you guys to do so. But I do want to start off today's show talking about the Wings specifically as they sneakily have one of the better, you know, quad wing uh, or one of the better uh, young cores for the wing position in the entire league. I mean, Modest is 19. Daylon Terry is still 22. Patrick Williams, 22 as well. And then you also have Julian Phillips at the age of 20. Now, the Bulls could have a great young core of wings. And I think the biggest thing with specifically those four is going to come down to developing a really solid catch and shoot uh, three point jumper. You know, Patrick Williams has shot over 40% so far in his NBA career, but that's only around on two uh, three pointers per game. So if he upset usage rate or those shots per game to about four, maybe Dalen Terry develops his three point jumper because all four of those guys have the athletic ability. It's going to come down to if they can develop three point jump shots because I also do believe they could, will all be plus defenders this year and then uh, NBA. But let's start off with Modest Buzelis here. Love what I saw from him during the summer league. We saw the athleticism. We saw the playmaking ability. And we saw the defensive versatility on full display. Now, my biggest, I guess, concern with Modest heading into the year is he's going to need to put more weight on his frame. But I think he'll be able to do so. And listen, he's got great size, man. I mean, six foot 10, 210 pounds, super long wingspan. He's already going to be a plus defender. But the thing is with Modest, can he develop more physicality to his game? Can he work out of the post a little more? Something I want to see from him. But if he can do all that, I think he could be a future star here in the league. Now, let's focus in here on Dalen Terry, who, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of this draft pick out of Arizona, first rounder a couple years ago. But I actually liked what I saw from him this past season. He plays super hard. He's always given 110% effort when he's out there on the court. Now, he is a little undersized at the wing position. Maybe he could develop into a uh, bigger two guard, but I don't know if that's necessarily in his game. But I think Dalen, I mean, I've seen the workout videos going viral amongst the Bulls Twitter and, you know, fans are getting optimistic about him playing this year. So, you know, I'm keeping my hopes high for Dalen Terry. But again, it's going to come down to the three point jump shot. It's going to come down if he can become a, you know, a great defender, even though I already think he's a solid serviceable guy on that side of the floor. But can he take that next step? We'll have to wait and see. Now, the biggest question mark around the Bulls, uh, specifically their wing spot, it's got to be this guy. Now, they just gave him a five-year, $90 million deal during NBA free agency. And, you know, he definitely has the most potential as it stands right now out of all these guys. But he's got a seven-foot wingspan, um, you know, super, super athletic. I've um, talked about Patrick Williams here on the channel a lot as I am a believer in him just because I think that archetype of a 3 and D guy is so valuable here in the league, and if he ends up taking the next step, maybe he goes from 10 points a game to, let's just say, 14, 15, and he maintains the efficiency, and he also goes from a really good defender to maybe an all-NBA caliber defender here this upcoming season, we could be talking about that contract being extremely favorable from a Bulls perspective, but I want to see him be aggressive. I don't want any more passive P conversations. I want aggressive P out there on the basketball court. And another way to help him out in his development trading Zach Levine, but you know, we'll talk about that in another show here shortly. But I want to get you guys involved on today's show. What are your thoughts on Patrick Williams? Be honest with me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on Patrick Williams. 
Now, I do want to give a big time shout out to today's presenting sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. And if you guys use promo code CLNS, we will match your first deposit up to $100. Now, Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active users. And Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on prize picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch their winnings roll in. Get on or get in on the daily action with your friends and become part of the prize picks community today. Now, I was already looking ahead to week one of the NFL season, and this was the lineup up, uh, I cooked up. I'm going to roll with new Bears quarterback Caleb Williams and take his more on his 236 and a half passing yards. I'm going to ride with the best non-quarterback in the National Football League, Justin Jefferson, taking more on his 89.5 passing or or receiving yards, excuse me, then also DJ Moore. I think he's going to be um, connecting with Caleb Williams a bunch in his, uh, or this upcoming season. I'm going to take the more on him, 63.5 receiving yards. Whether you guys want to fade my picks or ride with my picks, I just suggest you guys do so at Prize Picks. Download the Prize Picks app today. Use code CLNS for a first deposit. Match up to $100. That's code CLNS on prize picks for a deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. I'll put that link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. But I really encourage you guys to check them out. It you know, just makes the viewing experience on any sporting event that much more enjoyable. So shout out to prize picks for sponsoring today's show. I think another massive key for this Bulls young core is Kobe White taking another step this season. And I think it could be huge for the future of the franchise. Now, Kobe this past year, he was fantastic with the Chicago Bulls. Um, We really saw that leap once Zach Levine went out due to the injury. And, you know, just overall, his shots per game, his usage rate went up. And he ended up performing very well. I mean, he was almost a a 20-point-a-game guy um, uh, in the entire season. But in the second half of the year, he was definitely a a 20-point-a-game guy. You know, averaging 19.1 points uh, throughout the whole year, four and a half rebounds, 5.1 assists, very efficient as well, a really solid three-point shooter at a high volume, and he knocked it down at 37.6%. But the comparison I use for Kobe White is a, uh, is the jump that Tyrese Maxey made. Now, Tyrese Maxey, from his 2021 year to his 22 year, was very similar to Kobe White. As you guys see on the right side of your screen, 20 points a game, three rebounds, three and a half assists, very similar to what Kobe did this past season. But can he take the jump that Tyrese made from uh, two years ago to this past year when he won most improved player of the year? Averaging 26 a night, 6.2 assists, and the efficiency maintained very high as well. Now, if Kobe does take a maxi type leap again, he can be a second option on a title team. And, you know, I think Kobe, I see the similarities between him and Maxi. Now, obviously Maxi, I think he's got way better you know, just creativity offensively. He's a very free-flowing basketball player, and I think Kobe, as he just continues to develop, he can reach that. But obviously right now, Maxie is a significantly better player, but if he can take that same jump that Maxie did, it could be huge for the Bulls, attracting free agents as well because, you know, other stars in the NBA, let's say they get disgruntled with their team. Let's just say Kobe White, Patrick Williams, they both pop. They could be saying, oh, I'm going to go, you know, team up my talents with those two players and hopefully bring a championship Back to the Chicago Bulls. And also, Kobe White's contract is one of the most favorable contracts in the entire NBA over the next two seasons. I hate giving the Bulls front office credit, but this was a steal of a deal. Next year, he's on the books for $12 million, And the year after, he's on the books for $12.8. This is going to be one of the best contracts in the NBA, specifically in the 2025 season, where hopefully he's averaging you know 25 points a night that year. Now, can Kobe White make the All-Star game? Because that's a big question we have amongst Bulls fans. Well, these were the all-star guards this past season. And, you know, I think it's going to be an uphill battle for Kobe as Brunson, Halbert, Maxie, and Mitchell, I think, are all locks to make the all-star game yet again, unless it comes down to injury. But let's just say time or Father Time keeps tapping uh, Damian Lillard on the shoulder. Maybe he takes his spot. Maybe Dame, you know, drops his points per game down to 20 and the Bucks aren't as successful. And maybe the Bulls are having a great season and Kobe's averaging, you know, 24, 25 a game. I could very well see him being in the All-Star game. But you guys let me know. Be honest with me. Will Kobe White make the All-Star game next year? Give me a Y for yes or an N for no down below in the comment section. Curious to see what you guys have to say. Let me know your thoughts down below. I think the biggest X factor in this young core is Jalen Smith. He was actually 
one of the most underrated moves, I think, over the entire NBA free agency period as, you know, he was a ha- highly touted, um, you know, player coming out of college, coming out of high school. And then, you know, he really got his feet wet this past season with the Indiana Pacers where he was fantastic. I mean, you know, very limited action, but in 17.2 minutes per game, he averaged almost 10 points, almost averaged a whole block. And he was very efficient with being one of the best three-point shooting big men we saw in the NBA, shooting 42.4% from downtown that is fantastic i've said this countless times he is the perfect modern day center as he could play small ball or as he could play big ball four but he could also play small ball five he has versatility in that front court it gets me back to uh this i hate talking about trading vooch and levine all off season but the bulls need to do it like not only just to get some sort of draft capital or young player in return but to have these young guys you have on the roster develop and if you got rid of vooch we could see Jalen Smith truly becoming the center of the future for the Chicago Bulls. So, you know, I'm excited to watch him play this year. I think he's going to end up, you know, playing very, very well for Chicago, but it's going to come down to opportunity with him. And if you trade Vooch, obviously he's going to get more of that this upcoming season. But I love what I've seen from Jalen Smith this past year with the Pacers. So hopefully, hopefully he can, uh, you know, develop into a center of the future here in Chicago. But, hey, if you guys made it to the end of the today's show, Give me a real one down below in the comment section. I want to see where all the real ones are at. If you guys made it all the way to the end, comment real one down below. Now, if you guys want more Bulls content on your Twitter timeline, that's a handle right there, at Pat Seeps. Give me a follow over there, and I'll give you guys a follow right back. But we'll see you guys next time. As always, go Bulls.